there guys, it's Stephen and Phil here back on 40.com with yet another football shirt review and this time we've got Barcelona's special 2019-24 shirt. It's been released a few days ago and today we're going to turn our critical eye towards it uh, and go at this striking, uh, very interesting, very unique um, Barcelona 4 kit. And don't forget though, if you are a fan of football shirt culture, make sure you hit that review button. We've got like a video every day coming for the next couple of weeks because all the international shirts have been dropping. Tomorrow we'll probably do uh, maybe Spain, maybe Germany, one of those. But after that, there'll be just a constant video. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. But it's time for Barcelona before we get into the international shirt world. Uh, right, so they haven't gone for the free shirts this season. Barcelona have hmm. gone for a fourth. Uh, the latest yeah. team to do that. It's We're, we're in the era of fourth shirts now. We yeah. may as well accept it. Yeah. Uh, don't forget, you'd have to buy them all, so it's not too bad if you don't want them. <laughs> um, this is uh, in the colours of the Catalan flag, the Senyara, uh, apparently, uh, in honour of the club's roots and history. And Phil, what is your take on this shirt? I think first we should definitely address that fourth shirt issue, if you like, because a lot of people are saying quite, you know, understandably confused. <laughs> Why do they need yeah. four kits? To be honest, my answer, is the answer, I guess. Exactly, but... they don't need that. Most teams don't even need three kits. I think, you know, my view on these things certainly is that if if you're going to do a fourth kit, at least make it interesting. Give it some sort of meaning. And at the end of the day, a fourth kit actually should be a place where it doesn't really matter what the colours are in relation to the other kits. You know, they're, they're not wearing this because the three the other three kits are, are going to clash, yeah. you know, or anything. So, well, so, yeah. This is the first time they've ever had four kits in <coughs> Barcelona. Right. Um, it's the first time they're going to be doing that. They're only going to use it for big occasions, like mm. going to the Santiago Bernabeu to face <laughs> Real Madrid. So it's like a special kit, kit mm. basically. <laughs> like, it's uh, just for the big occasions. Yeah. Um, and it's it's striking. Um mm. Personally, I, I quite like it. It's uh, apparently uh, it represents a former, a famous Catalan image from the. the ugh, I'm not even going to uh, massacre that pronunciation. Guelphi El Pilos or something like that. Uh, after he dragged his four <laughs> fingers bloody after battle across a golden shield, so mm. it's a legend of the four blood bars, which is incredibly. Wow. It sounds so dark, but it's history. You know, it it's history of the Catalan of Thrones, region. Yeah, and, and, and it inspired the Catalan flag. And I think that's the thing. Actually, I quite. I, I do actually quite like that story. A lot of the time you see inspiration. We, we, we read the press releases, don't we? And they're very, very... This is on the nose, it's inspiration. We, when, when we know what it's about, it's very, like, in terms of they've gone on yeah. that influence and, big time. And to it, be honest, if that's the influence, it, it quite clearly comes across. I didn't really, I didn't know that story before actually we started this video, but just seeing that there, it, I mean, it almost makes it quite sort of... It's aggressive. Uh, aggr yeah, quite sort of, um, uh, what's the word, kind of... Well, yeah, I mean, politically charged anyway, as well. Yeah, especially given I the mean, current climate over exactly. Given, given the climate, and the thing is with this show, this was leaked a long, long time ago before actually some of Barca's other kids. So we've known this is coming for a while. We didn't know the final design until more recently. Um, but yeah, with that inspiration, I think the execution of the idea is really good. Obviously, you know they've kept. Oh, it I like very, it. Yeah, I like it a lot. You know, it's. I think in general the Bar Barcelona kits have, have all actually been quite good in different ways. And this one is as good. You know, a lot of people are saying, oh, it's just the same colour as the away shirt. But again, this isn't trying to be a different shirt. This is, you know, it's a standalone shirt. Um, but I think, yeah, from a design perspective, it's very striking. It's very unique. I can't think of a shirt with that kind of style. Because often... Or with you, four stripes of blood on it. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, four four streaks. And, you know, we see, and we'll talk about it in the Germany video, you see sometimes lines are kind of done in a sort of hand-drawn style, which I think looks a bit naff sometimes. This one, um, it, I mean, it could look like paint, it could look like blood, you know, whatever it is. Yeah. I think it's it's quite a nice, um, well, a nice, nice pattern. And I think just in general, obviously, you mentioned about the political climate at the moment. You would expect this one would be, yeah, it would be very popular with the fans because, you know, Barcelona are very proud of the Catalan heritage, of course. Yeah. They've had kits in the past. They had a, well, a couple of away kits over the years that have been yellow and red. Um, but never quite like this, so it does stand out. Uh, so, how do you do to improve it? I mean, it, it, it kind of is what it is, isn't it? Really? Yeah. To be honest, I don't think. I mean, if I'm being critical, it's got kind of that that collar from last year, which yeah. is a bit, a bit low. But obviously, this is again, it's a design. It's sort of a one-off. And um, what I do, I think, the good thing about this kit definitely is that, um, yeah, it, it makes sense for Barcelona. You know, it's a lot of times we see kits and they feel a little bit like they're just sort of very much just for the for the brand and obviously nike are benefiting from from the yeah. exposure of this but i do think it feels like it's a good one for the fans yes it's another shirt to buy um it, it will look great on the pitch as well uh, it will look good on the uh, pitch uh, i've seen, seen messi score that maybe mm. at the bernabeu but that would look really bad yeah, would look good. Uh, i'm gonna ask you for a score phil hmm. yeah this one is a hard one to to score because obviously four kits are 
whilst they're a lot more common now, they're kind of a bit in their own category. It's still novelty, I'd say. Yes, yeah, so they are novelty. And I think if I'm, I'm sort of trying to judge it as a fourth kit, you know, this isn't a, a kit that they're going to wear a lot. I think it's actually quite good as a fourth kit. You know, yeah, I, I agree, it's actually. not, aesthetically, it's not as amazing as some of the shirts we've seen this year. But it, no, I think it is probably, for what it's trying to be, it's actually quite good. I'd, I'd put it in the 80s. Um, I'll give it a sort of 83, I think. Maybe 84. Let's go 84. For, for I, I think that's shirts. fair. I think it's a good shirt. I don't think it's a great shirt. Like, it doesn't pop no. out. To, something about it doesn't make me go, wow, that's timeless. No, but exactly. I think it's, it's really cool. I mm. think it's a nice shirt. I think um, yeah. it's interesting enough to warrant being a fourth shirt. I think, obviously, mm -hmm. you'd have to buy it if you don't want to. We just uh, we are in this area of fourth kits. I'm sure in 10 years, mm. there'll be fifth and sixth kits. Absolutely. They'll find a way. There'll be alternative yeah, we'll third, fourth kits. And it'll happen. Right. Because, I mean, the good thing is football shirt culture gets bigger and bigger and it makes more interesting things. But obviously, there's more kits and uh, you get bogged down in semantics of all. But yep. they ain't going away because they're quite popular because you guys enjoy watching. <laughs> uh, yeah. And talking about yeah, the show, so yeah. <laughs> that's it. So, guys, uh, anyway, let us know if you agree with that score. And uh, don't forget to head over to footy.com for the cheapest price you'll find loads of football shirts anywhere online. We are the home of football price comparison, after all. For now, though, subscribe, like, comment, all the usual stuff, and be back tomorrow for either Germany or Spain first. Which one do you want to talk about first? Let's go Germany. Germany video tomorrow coming up, so make sure you hit the subscribe button. See you in a bit.